Today is um, September 22nd. We are in Lauingen, Germany, and uh, we are standing in front of the KM1 facility. This is where KM1 does a lot of their production. They have a beautiful uh, shop in there. They have, they do all their 3D printing in here and their lasers and everything. It's a fantastic facility. It's actually really big. It's a, it's a lot bigger than I thought. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna meet uh, Mr. Krug and uh, Carmen Krug, the owners of KM1, and hopefully uh, do some filming in there. Can't wait to get in there. And Frau Melli, hello everybody. <laughs> And here we have the beautiful showroom. Oh my God, look at all these trains. <laughs> Andreas just brought out uh, the 05s. Here is a beautiful photo gray 05 and a beautiful gold 05. Oh, it's just such an amazing locomotive. Look at that. That's a beautiful locomotive. Yeah. And the gold one. When we got our first stock, we stayed uh, two months ago. Uh, we Here we have a Deutsche Bundesbahn version with the gold board on the outside. Look at how nice. Uh, in her own small bed. But at the end, of course, she was sleeping. <laughs> she was like, not in our bed. Yet. So yeah. nice. But when this, this is really some kind of uh, room uh, work sound, you know? Right. And, right. Um, <clears throat> The final sound file is going to be programmed over here. We have some special programming um, uh, connector mm -hmm. because if we do it on the track, as most of the uh, PCB suppliers do, yeah, uh, and also we did in former times, uh, it takes too long mm -hmm. because we have true hi-fi quality uh, on, on our sound decoder. Not less, it's CD quality. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, if we uh, write the data to the uh, memory, it would take about maybe one and a half hours. For each locomotive? For a conventional way. Wow. But with this system, it takes us seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah, wow. Because we have, with this five pin connector we have, we have direct access to the, uh, to the memory. Wow. And uh, when KM1 will supply uh, the own programming, tool it will be very fast as well so if customer makes any changes on the sound file they can write it extremely fast mm -hmm. he does not have to wait one hour two right, hours right. until he can hear uh, the result he right. can just program it after seven minutes you have all the functions everything on that's the, on amazing the yeah? that's a great innovation it is it wow. it's really is and it, it comes first time with the zero five zero wise was not supposed to have uh, front and rear speakers, but during the production process, uh, we really made big efforts to bring uh, speakers to the boiler as well. Uh, it could have been if we designed it in the first time already like that, it could have been optimized already, mm -hmm. but at least we have now speakers over here. So there's a speaker in the locomotive? Yeah, two speakers in the locomotive and one in the tender. Wow. And so with this uh, range of widths we can control the sound does it come only from here or from there or from there wow so this is a really stereo balancing sound decoder wow. where we can locate the uh the the noise from the let's say coal shoveling or cylinders or taking water at the back sure you know? sure and also uh, this is a, a bigger speaker with eight centimeter diameter mm -hmm. and we have two uh, I think 28 centimeter uh, speakers inside wow. with a speaker cone. So is this technology and the, and the multiple speakers, is this the first locomotive that, that offers this now, yeah. the 05? Yeah, Wow. Is. And then I'm imagining in the future, most of them will also have this yeah. technology, yeah. right? If we, if we have enough space, we, we apply this kind of technology. Basically, our sound decoders do always have this on board, mm -hmm. but if we make use of it, depends on the project. I see. I see. Yeah. So we makes can't sense. Do it. We, we don't have to do it. Right, right. Uh, it, it's really funny to, to listen to that engine when you suddenly hear some, some pumps only on local side and not on the tender side. Right. You know? This right. Is, this is really a maybe historical moment. It is. It's true. Right. Yeah. And so you see, they, 
are going to be unpacked. Uh, they get some optical inspection, they get some a technical inspection they need to run on the track we check if the motor is running smoothly and the gear is mm -hmm. running smoothly and they get the programming over here and then they get back to their box they get some uh, certificate that we issue mm -hmm. uh, where we point out what has been done at which date with which serial number and the serial number is then uh, also written to the invoices so even if we ship an engine to europe or to the united states mm -hmm. uh, after 10 years we can tell you where it has been delivered first time oh that's interesting right so we know right. has it been shipped to a dealer has it been shipped to a private person right has it been shipped to france to right. germany switzerland you'll know how many hands yes, touch this model yes. right yeah. right right and uh, this is also very helpful for some customers uh, who want to purchase a second hand engine right yeah and uh, sometimes also in, in europe we we have uh the situation that some dealers offer a uh, mint uh, engine, a new, brand mm -hmm. new engine, uh, but we know it has been sent three years ago to right. a private person right. already. Right, so, right, right. So we, we really try um, to make everything with uh, some uh, transparency for, right. for customers. That's a really, really good... They really know what they can get from KM1. That is a great yeah. idea. Wow, wow. And all these serial numbers... Uh, you can see are on the box as well. So this serial number 052377. Mm -hmm. And this bill will be written to on our the system invoice. on mm -hmm. the invoice. Mm -hmm. our, not to customer's invoice because he has this number himself. But to our invoice and to our files, mm -hmm. our system, to our server. And we can look after it if we need that's, at any time. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Um, Andreas, could I film the running of the 05 a little bit? Yeah, this sure, one? Oh sure. my god. This is a Deutsche uh, Bundesbahn version. If you want, we um. can. Bist du gerade fertig, Alex? Ja. Legen wir nochmal drauf und dann lassen wir es nochmal fahren. <lacht> Möchtest du noch filmen, weißt du, wie es testet? Wo ist äh, Lautstärkeregelung? F15. F15, dann machen wir es kurz laut. Das <lacht> ist <lacht> <lacht> Wo ist der hier drauf? Äh, Nein, der ist rein oder an dem anderen? Nee, MCLR müsste der theoretisch sein. Theoretisch. Now you can hear it's already a very strong sound, right? Oh, yeah. But we can control it by a function key. Now it's, oh, you can regulate yeah. the volume. Yeah. Wow. Now it's step two. Three. Five. You know, so customer can control the, the volume very easily by very easily. Key. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. You hear this? Noise is really coming from the cylinders exactly. right now. Exactly, exactly where it should be. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful model. <laughs> um, for the uh, cylinder noises, for our high quality sound, we have more than 500 samples, different samples. 500? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So this Ooh, makes yeah. it really uh, realistic, you know. It's fantastic. Huh? Wow. Yes. Also, the injectors sound now. Injectors are over there. They uh, are balanced to the middle. So that when, when you are here, you can really hear it. It's coming from from the cabin you know but a water pump is the only on the front speakers right so it's really coming from here that's so that, that's incredible. i mean it's i mean it's not for garden railway you oh, know sure but, but for all the people who have a really short and nice layout in their in their living room or in their house whatever they can really enjoy that kind unbelievable, unbelievable. come here this is the pump 
You have to listen with your both ears. It's right there. Exactly where it should be. That's simply remarkable. Wow. This is a new dimension in model train times. It absolutely is. Wow, I've never seen or heard anything like that before. Wow. I hope that you have do you have a patent on the idea. Wow. I I I have the source code. You have the, the source code. code, there you go. <laughs> that's that's much more. I, I mean the problem is we have so many ideas, we made so many inventions to this business. Uh, we cannot hold a patent for it. You can't. Time, you, know? you can't. It, it is not my attitude to fight with others. Uh, and I am happy if I can make some, so put some new idea that others do as well. Right. Which happened many times yes. in the past. Already. Well, you were the first. So this is good for customers because we bring this, this uh, hobby up, you know, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it gets more quality. It's, it's more better for customers. But even the same is true for the, for the couplers, you know, yeah. we have these kinelectric couplers. Right. We produced ourselves, right? By the way, for the 05, this is sliding. You can't oh, see, see anything. But if it has to go through a small radius, it is sliding to, could along with the wow. kinematic, kinematic. So this is ball bearing and sprung. So it's very easy to hook that uh, tender to yeah, the sure, locomotive now, sure, right? Sure. With that coupler. And, uh, and then, uh, you see, Alex? So we have a, a tool that we ship along with the, with the engines. Uh, where you can use to disconnect, oh, you see. see, like that. That's incredible. There are no more wires. That's awesome. Right? Wow. And if we now couple the engine, mouse and some. That's the way it oh. absolutely should be. Finish. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> we developed that system two years ago already. With well, the 56, it came the first time. Wow. Yeah. And I think this is also very helpful for us because in the past years we always had the cable yeah, yeah. and then we has, had to hook up the and harnessed with the harness right. and with, with, the, with the, a, kin, a kinematic coupler with the hooks. And so this is a new system, meaning this PCB is going to be picked up just with a, a coupler. Right. And then uh, we have, I can show it to you here. This is the opposite side from the locomotive. You see? So exactly pops right the, in there. The uh, PCB slides in there, and also there is a sprung uh, oh, the brass it. cup that right. keeps it inside. Got it. And it is long enough that it's really a a, a strong and um, hundred percent perfect connection. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We have twenty contacts coming up from upside and downside, and all the rest is the kinematic system that we had before. That's fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. So Andreas, my question to you is now on O gauge. Do you what do you, how do you see the O O gauge business coming in the future? Do um, you expect great things? Mm, yes, I think yes because uh, in the past <clears throat> when we didn't know O scale um, projects at all, um, my opinion was that O scale is still a smaller market compared to uh, one gauge. So in but in Europe in general, in is Europe, O gauge is smaller? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. O gauge, this was my impression. Mm -hmm. But when we see what's going on right now in the O gauge uh, market, we have to see and consider that maybe it's approximately the uh, same size mm -hmm. market already. Mm -hmm. And this market is still growing. We lost a lot of customers from one gauge to O scale because they said, O scale, I have the same detailing, but need less uh, space. space. For sure, for sure. And uh, this is the, the most uh, important argue yes. for O scale. Yeah. And uh, now we get back those customers. Right. They are happy to say, hey, I can buy KM1 again. So exactly now we are doing right. O scale. It takes less space. And that's it takes huge. less space, but it's still very, very detailed. Right. And also we bring all the functions that we have in one gauge, which was not usually not in past with other uh, brands. We bring all those features and all those functions also to the O scale right. market. Dynamic smoke Dynamic and the smoke, sound. And the sound yeah. and also the kinelectric coupler or uh, many moving parts. Mm -hmm. yeah? As we have, for example, here at the uh, see at this, uh, 05, I can show you at, at this side. 
we have some slide windows which are really working <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> you know they can show, display the engine with a closed or open window that's awesome and also we, we do this in O scale too that's fantastic so i think this O scale market is growing and it, it was a good idea for us to start in O scale absolutely business. um I, I don't believe there's anyone else making right now any O gauge locomotives with cylinder smoke and all that is there yeah, they, uh, maybe they will try. Right, right, right. They will try and they will do something about it. But uh, I am I'm pretty sure that uh, we can provide a high quality product at a affordable price, right. you know, to, right. to the customers. And as it is in one gauge too, sometimes they are not very patient. Customers right. want to have it immediately, but it's the same philosophy. We do not ship a product when it's not 100% finished. Perfect, right. No? Right. So this, this is a. It makes me feel better and right. more relieved. Uh, and if you collect an engine like that and you spend two thousand euro even in in O scale uh, for a brass engine, after ten years you will not know if you waited one year longer. Right. But exactly. If you see the, right. The mistake. <laughs> right. And the faults. Right. After ten years you will still know. That's that. right. That's a uh, very good concept. That's right. And and uh, this is um, what I am sure. Uh, it is much more important finally for customers right. if, even if they it takes more time exactly so, right and another good argue is uh, we can afford to use that time right there are other companies that need to ship 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 yeah right just to get the product to the customer right and they don't have this this uh, this time to make it really uh, the good quality right and test it and, and well prove it you, you know you also have the luxury of everything that you learned all your trials and tribulations with one gauge, you take all that knowledge and you already have it for sure. the old gauge. Sure. That's huge. Sure. Yeah. You know, and that's something that, uh, you know, that's done in trial and error. And, and there is another issue. I, I say this very, very honestly to you now. We experienced that our designs were taken in China and used from other uh, one gauge manufacturers to produce exactly the same model in O scale instead of one gauge interesting you know and uh, what 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 shall we do about it right uh, getting a, a law trial in china or right. you know it's impossible in china money? exactly no, i decided we produce them ourselves so if this is my design of the o5 if i want to do it in o scale i use my design and do it in china exactly and right. if someone else of our competitors thinks he can just take our design behind the doors right and uh, make this project uh, O5 in, in O scale, yeah. uh, I can start it today. Exactly. You know, this is my way to do the competition. Right. So, and uh, I think it, it's, it. I don't want to be aggressive. It, it's not the, uh, that kind of story, but I just want to keep what's my own. Exactly. Because for O5, I can tell you, we invested five years, five years, for all the detailing, for all the versions to make it as perfect as it is right, right. now. We really had to research so long time because there are not too many data available. There are uh, a lot of various types we did at the same time and every type must match with the prototypical pictures and right. sometimes the drawings are different compared to the pictures as it was in, in, in the in very life, difficult, you know? very difficult. So it was a, a long, long time we had to invest to bring out this model as it is today. Wow. And so if I can use all this investment for O gauge as well. Why not? Know? Exactly. Why not? Exactly. This is time saving, cost saving, and uh, we have a second life for, exactly. for all this. And you reach design. another market. Yeah, and which we reach is huge. another market. And also we, we can expand our business. Right. And this is exactly what we intend to do. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are just overwhelmed. This is going to be a fantastic video. Thank you so much, Andreas, for all your time, you know, for all your hospitality. It was just an absolute pleasure to be here. And um, we will be back and we will do a lot more filming. So <laughs> welcome at any time. <laughs> Thank you, Andreas. <laughs>